to Science Time. This week is wastewater. And today, I'm gonna to be doing a science experiment with you. We are gonna learn what should we flush and what should we not flush. For this experiment, we're gonna be testing some different products that people may or may not flush. First, toilet paper. Then we have wipes. Whether it says wipes that are flushable or not, you can use either of them. Tissues and paper towels. For your experiment, you can gather up the supplies and follow along with me or do it after. And it's okay if you don't test all of these things. At least test toilet paper and then one of these other products. And I then have four jars labeled so you all can see what is in it. If you don't have jars with a lid, a bowl and a spoon will work for mixing them up. And in all experiments, I like to collect data. And so I made a data sheet to flush or not to flush. I wrote the object down and you might have another object that you want to test and then yes, I should flush it or no, I should not flush it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with filling them up with water. You don't need too much water here. A little bit for each jar. And now, to start, we'll put, hello, two squares of toilet paper, a tissue, a wipe, just gonna put a piece of a paper towel, you to think what is gonna happen when we shake these jars and you can set your experiment up I don't want you to see the answers I want you to do it first and so after you set it up you're going to take the jar shake it for one minute and see what happens to the object so let's see what you find out in your experiment Welcome back. I gave all these jars a good shake for a whole minute. Now we are gonna look closer at what happens. So toilet paper, does that look like toilet paper anymore? No, toilet paper breaks down in small pieces. So should we flush toilet paper? Definitely. And I'm gonna put a big X at yes. Then we have here wipes. It's a little soapy, but otherwise that wipe looks like the wipe that I put in, which means for wipe, no, all wipes, even if they say flushable, should go into your trash can. Now let's take a look here at the tissue. Hmm, that looks very similar to the tissue I put in. Therefore, tissues also should not be flushed. They need to go into the trash can, so we'll put a no there. And the last one is paper towel. After shaking it for a minute, it sort of like looks slightly worn on the edges, but otherwise, that's a paper towel. So, paper towels, no, we don't wanna flush them. Which means the only thing that we should be flushing is toilet paper. Everything else should go into the trash can. We don't wanna have clogs in your homes and our wastewater treatment operators don't want to have to deal with all the nasty mess that wipes and other products can cause in the sewer system. Now, to recap what we just learned, when we put all these products into the water and we shook them, a few of them didn't break down into small little pieces. And that means that when they go down our drain or into our sewer pipes, they can make a big mess. So looking here, we can see the paper towel looks the same. Tissue looks the same. Wipes, even if it says flushable, is gonna look the same. And we can see here with the toilet paper that it broke down into small pieces. It's basically dissolving into little parts and so it doesn't cause any harm in our sewer system. Thanks everyone for joining me with the experiment. I hope you had fun and come back tomorrow to learn more about wastewater.